Hey traders, today I'm going to show you Ichimoku Cloud trading strategy. Whether you're scalping or swing trading, it really does not matter. It works both ways. Make sure to watch my Discord community. And without further ado, let's just get down to business. So the Ichimoku Cloud, probably the dirtiest indicator regarding uh, how it looks. However, the Ichimoku Cloud could be a very useful tool for you guys. All right, so to add the indicator, go inside indicators tab, type in Ichimoku Cloud under technicals. It will be the first one. Click one time and close this screen. Now you will have these crazy lines on the screen. If you click the gear icon near the Ichimoku cloud. So the only thing I want you guys to do is maybe close the lagging span indicator. Because what it does, it actually shows price a different way. And I feel like if you're a trader, you don't really want a messy chart. And this indicator is quite messy anyway. So I don't like having the lagging span indicator. It does show that it's trending towards the downside heavily or trending towards the upside heavily. But more than likely at least the way i'm going to show you how to use it you don't need it so the conversion and baseline over here are basically your moving averages and the leading span a and b is actually the ichimoku cloud right so this is the best part how do we actually use the ichimoku cloud well there's two ways you could enter the trade when the actual moving averages kind of cross and then you could sell the trade or when the candlestick gives you a bearish engulfing candle and it crosses the two moving averages, which I like personally the most. So that's where I would enter bearish engulfing candlestick. It crossed recently the two moving averages and the Ichimoku cloud over here is red, which is for a selling direction. So what we would do is open a short position over here stop loss just above the moving averages also since it's quite near i would do it above the ichimoku cloud as well so 69 pips profit let's make it 70 and make 70 take profit low as well so one to one risk to reward ratio for now but we can maximize the trade and i'll show you how in just a second so let's play the tool and see what happens it drops towards the downside nicely once it hits our first take profit low just over here we move our stop loss to entry for a risk-free trade then what we can do is maximize our trading gain by holding the trade longer and we want to keep it open until the two moving averages actually cross each other or the candle sticks over here cross past the red one in a bullish direction. So let's see what happens. So we would have been already a lot of pips in profit around 200 pips profit probably most people would have closed it by then but maybe you like to trade like that and maximize and squeeze every pip you can sometimes I do it. And as you can see, it goes towards the upside. When it actually goes towards the upside like that through the candlesticks, I close off my trade immediately. So it would have been, you know, around 87 pips profit or something like that. But more than likely, you would have closed off 200 pips profit is more than enough. Right, so let's flip the charts and let's have a look at the bullish scenario. So currently, market is trending towards the downside quite heavily. We can see that over here every time it touched, you know, the moving averages went towards the downside, making new lows every single time. Now we're currently getting a bullish engulfing candlestick, which shows bullish pressure. Very likely, it's going to continue moving up. And what's important, the Ichimoku cloud moving averages have been crossed now towards the upside however we still did not get this cloud itself to start becoming green as you can see it's still red so we need to wait a little bit more to see what actually happens so as you can see if we just skip through boom a nice green candle is starting to form all we need to do now is enter on the right position so where do we actually want to enter so let's see what happens look at this bullish engulfing candlestick could be a nice trade towards the upside long position just over here if you don't like the stop loss or take profit levels you might want to wait for a better uh, risk reward ratio what i mean by better is maybe wait for a bullish engulfing candle this is a perfect trade just over here look at this bullish engulfing candle near the ichimoku cloud moving averages so we would have the stop loss level somewhere around here just below the last moving average and take profit low 70 over here and we can maximize our pip gain as we did with the bearish scenario so look at this we enter on the bullish engulfing candle what happens boom it shoots towards the upside very nicely indeed so look at this now ichimoku cloud is on a buying direction we can see nice green cloud over here has formed we can also see that this area zone has now been broken a new high has been established very likely a push exhaustion scenario before it continues to move up so what we want to do now 
move stop loss to entry for risk-free trading if you want you can just draw another support line previous support line so you can see what's going on but look at this continues to move up and you only ideally want to be closing off the trade when the candlesticks actually cross the two moving averages or the moving averages itself start to cross or kind of stay near each other so since this did not happen we carry on making money and as you can see 148 pips profit can this continue as you can see this is where I would probably close off because look at this the two Ichimoku cloud moving averages are near each other this is where I would close because I would think maybe the market is a uh, change in direction so 106 pips profit a uh, two to one risk to reward ratio because our stop loss was around 50 or something and that's pretty damn good right however what you can do is kind of measure these area zones as you can see nice consolidation going towards the upside this is the smart way to trade it by the way push exhaustion again consolidation right you can continue making more money with this trade and let me show you how so boom it shoots towards the upside yet again makes a new high so this was the previous high look at this candlestick new high we can enter the trade long once again stop loss has to be below the moving averages as you can see the cloud is still on a buying direction we can kind of carry on making money and as you can see boom it shoots towards the upside yet again candlesticks never cross these two lines the moving averages are still uh, moving quite separately from each other which is good we carry on making money and then again a new high pullback and shooting towards the upside very likely let's see what happens no it doesn't boom we it goes down but you could have made you know an extra over here 47 pips in this case uh, even a little bit more if you you know carried on making money 74 pips or if you kept it open let's say we move stop loss to entry even if you kept it open hit take profit low boom goes down you don't lose a thing so that's the way i would trade the ichimoku cloud you can obviously add the lagging indicator if you want as you can see the lagging indicator is basically telling you you know that the trend is really heavy and pretty much if it starts going down uh, near the moving averages it shows that the trend momentum is kind of slowing down as you can see over here it's in between you know the candlesticks that's where probably you might want to be closing off your trades as well you could be using the lagging indicator i don't like it myself but uh, try it out see what works for you so if you enjoyed this trading video on ichimoku cloud you'll probably like this video over here consider watching